Hi, it's Arnold from Mabulous. Today I will show you how to configure the DNS receiver Trimble R8S. After setting up the Trimble R8S, you will be able to use this DNS receiver with LandSurvey app, Mabulous Survey. And that's what we all want. But first this. If you like videos on Mabulous, our company, Mabulous Survey Wizard, DNS receivers and land surveying, then subscribe by pushing the red button. To configure the Trimble R8S we only need two things. The first thing is of course the DNS receiver Trimble R8S and the second one is a computer. Today I will be using a laptop. So let's start to configure the Trimble R8S. To do that we will first start by turning it on by pushing the power button. So first we have to make a Bluetooth connection from the laptop to the GNS receiver the Trimble R8S. So we go to the Bluetooth devices and we click on Add Bluetooth device. And here we click on Add Bluetooth or other device. We select Bluetooth and then it has to search for Bluetooth devices. So we wait a little while. And there it is, it's the Trimble R8S, so we click on it and it's asking for a PIN code. Uh, the default PIN code of the Trimble R8S is 4 times 0, so 0, 0, 0, 0, and then we can connect. And then it says your device is ready to go. So we can click on done and go to the next step. Now we can go to devices and printers and here you see the R8S of Trimble and we can go to the properties by clicking on the right mouse button and here we have to go to services and in the services we unselect the COM1 and the COM2 port and we have to remember the port that's behind COM3 which is COM8. Then we can click on OK. And here we can click close. Then we close the screen. And then we go back to the settings. Here we type a phone and modem because we have to go to phone and modem. Um, I already filled in my location. If you didn't do this, you still have to do this because. And here we have to go to modems and we have to add a new connection. Here in this screen you have to make sure that the don't de detect my modem is not selected. Um, and then we can click next. So here we have to click next again and then there will be a list. Here we have to select communications cable between two computers and then again we click next. And here we have to click on the port we remembered with this COM8 and then after that we can click next again. And then the modem will configure. And that takes a little while. The modem has been set up su successfully, so now we can click on finish. And then we can click OK. So now we can go to network and internet. And here we have to select dial up and we have to set up a new connection. There we select connect to the internet. And here we Select set up a new connection anyway, and we have to make a dial up connection. In the dial up phone number, we have to fill in something, and we fill in a one, and then we click connect. It says connecting to dial up connection, and then it will say testing your internet connection, but we will skip. Now we click close. After doing this, we go to the change adapter options 
and here's the dialog connection and we click with the right mouse button and there is properties phone number we change and remove the number one and then we click OK and then we can go close this screen and we can click connect it has username password but we can just click dial and then it says opening port and then it's connected now we need to know the IP address of the Trimble R8S so we go to network and sharing center and here there is the dial-up connection and we click on it and there we go to details and then we see the IP address is 192.168.100.170 then we click close and we start up the browser As you can see the site can't be reached, it's Google, um, that's because we don't have internet, we are connected to the Trimble R8S, a GNS receiver. So now we have to fill in the IP address with, which is 192.168.100.170. Now we click on enter. And there, there is the screen of the Trimble R8S. Now we only need to fill in a username and a password. So the username is admin and the password is password. After that I can show you password and then you can click OK. And now we are in the Trimbo RHS and we can configure it so we go to a Bluetooth because we want a Bluetooth connection and we go to configuration here you can find a pin code that we already uh, saw and then we need to go to the input and output configuration and we need to set up the port configuration so we go to port configuration and in this part you can select the port which is bluetooth 1 and we want NEA codes because lens survey Eglos survey works wizard uh, reads the NEA codes so Eglos survey wizard uses uh, the NEA strings GDA and GST so we have to make sure that they are in one hertz which is one message per second and all the other NBA message can be off and then we click OK and here you see that it has NMEA GTA and NMEA GST uh, but we go back and we go back to the Bluetooth one because you have to make sure that the maintain configuration when connection dropped is um, checked because otherwise it will delete everything what you've done and you have to do everything again and then we can close and we can do the fun things hi it's me Raymond from Eblos yesterday Hanno gave me this Trimble R8S GNS receiver and I have to check if it works he said he configured the complete Trimble R8S, so let's see. First I have to make a Bluetooth connection with the GNS receiver, so let's go to the connect screen. So, let's go to the connect screen, make a connection, press Bluetooth, accept, searching. Here I can see R8S, Trimble, select, pin code. It says it has a function, select, Trimble, 
connect and ultimately when it comes we are standing now in the beautiful country of Belgium and we have an RTK and let's see if we can make a measurement finished if you like this video then give us a thumbs up and if you want to stay up to date on land surveying app loss dns receiver and app loss survey wizard then subscribe by pushing the subscribe button below if you have any suggestions for a new video please leave it in the comments thanks for watching and enjoy using the land survey app the app loss survey wizard